welcome back to The Decked. I am the author stylist, Rebecca and Brian, but you can call me Beck. This is the second time recording this intro because I haven't changed my setup yet, so I still have sound problems. But we're gonna be super optimistic for this take. You may be wondering why I'm wearing a blue Star Trek um, science officer uniform, and that would be because Today, we are talking about cosplay again. Now, I talked about cosplay in a previous episode in an interview with Dee Lieber, author Dee Lieber, so definitely check that out. That episode is packed with information. But today, we are relating it to a book, and that book is Geekerella by Ashley Poston. I just finished listening to this book on Audible, and it was really cute. It was this, it was a modern retelling of Cinderella, as you can probably guess. Um, Ashley also has uh, other retellings that I'm definitely gonna, that I definitely wanna check out now. Bookish and the Beast, for Beauty and the Beast, obviously, and The Princess and the Fangirl, which is The Prince and the Pauper. This is a shopping episode, so we're gonna shop for an outfit that you could wear for a con. And I wanna kinda get different levels, like, if it's your first time at a con and you don't really want to stand out, but you kind of want to show your fandom, and um, maybe if you want to do something um, stylish and cosplay light or something, and then if you want to go all out. How did I come to own a Star Trek um, uniform? Uh, costume, I guess. Um, well, growing up, my dad watched Star Trek Next Generation. So, you know, back in the 90s, we had like one TV going. So I would be in the background kind of, you know, peeking over the couch or walking through and seeing Captain Picard, Captain Picard on the, on the TV, um, who was dreamy back then is still dreamy to this day. So yeah, so I kind of grew up with it. And then as it turns out, I happened to marry a Star Trek fan too. So we are totally in the Star Trek ecosystem now from Discovery and Strange New Worlds and Picard. We're watching all of it. Um, and my favorite character in the new series is definitely Spock. So, blue uniform. Geekerella is a dual POV um, kind of YA kind of love story between um, Darian Freeman, who is the new Carmendor in the reboot of this old TV series. And L, who's the super fan, whose number one goal is to enter this um, costume contest as part of this con, which by the way, her father set up. When I pictured Darian Freeman in this book, I pictured like a Jordan Fisher type, just really cute. Who's my Darian Freeman, basically. I have been to a couple kind of con situations, um, but the most memorable for me was definitely Wizard World Chicago. It's now called something else. But back in 2012, I went to Wizard World Chicago and I got to meet Malfoy from Harry Potter. I got to meet Tom Felton and I was geeking out. I got like, I was shaking afterwards. I was such a dork. All right, so um, here we go. We're gonna get into this shopping episode. All right, so I kind of wanna see if they have any like non-Star Trek branded um, uniforms, like blue sci-fi kind of uniforms. So uh, I usually start with a Google search. I also, I think I got mine on eBay. So I'm definitely gonna check eBay too. We'll be on Etsy later because I love it and it's great for cosplay. But those are, I mean, those are the three places I would start. Obviously Google, because it brings up stores that you wouldn't even think about. Amazon probably too. Um, I don't know if the, it may be a little early for the Halloween stores to be up yet. So sci-fi blue uniform. Um, and the big thing with um, the Starfield uniform was that it was a very specific blue. And like the original blue was different from the blue that Darian Fisher wore, which I guess is kind of funny because that's, that's kind of the, it's 
kind of the deal with the yellow in the Star Trek uniform, because wasn't it like, wasn't it supposed to be like a lime green in the original series and just the lighting made it look like the more mustard yellow? Um, so same deal. Very specific blue. What we're looking for is if you were a Star Trek fan or if you were a Spock fan, like you're going to your first con, you don't know what to expect. You just want to kind of blend in, but show your fandom a little bit. So we'll do that kind of mid-level and then we'll do all out. So I think for the sake, we'll, we'll do one kind of surprise kind of thing in the end to bring it back to Geekerella. But for now, for simplicity's sake, since it's basically the same uniform, let's just go with blue officer's uniform. I don't know. There's so many like great like <sighs> geek shirt websites and Think Geek is that one? Do they have Think Geek? Are they still open for business? <laughs> I'm gonna keep it really simple. Do they not? Okay, so Think Geek clearly is very Star Trek centric or Star Wars centric, not Star Trek centric, which is fine. I I do enjoy both. I like The Mandalorian. I was a Baby Yoda fan, huge Baby Yoda fan back in the day too. But Think Geek, Think Geek will not be the place for us today, which is fine. Star Trek T-shirt. Sure, yeah, just keep it really simple. Any of these Star Trek t-shirts work. Or like, you know, Star Trek shop. They're official merch, sure. Okay, so I think we're gonna save this Star Trek t-shirt for like, maybe the mid-level, kind of like, um, cosplay but make it fashion <laughs> but we just want to keep it really simple at first all right let's assume i mean uss enterprise sure why not it's you know it's kind of a cool shirt we'll go with the we'll go with the blue one you know it's like in the know it's not overtly saying star trek on it but it's like okay people are gonna know that you know <laughs> you know that you're a star trek fan if you wear this. So you could do as simple as a t-shirt and then um, pair it with your favorite pair of jeans. And if I want a favorite pair of jeans, I would go right to Madewell. Let's do just some ripped denim. Let's just make this really cool and 90s and casual. Yeah. I like it. Just some baggy jeans. We're gonna make it really comfortable. You're just gonna go to the, this con. You're just gonna be so unbelievably comfy. Um, let's get some cool sneakers. What sneakers are in right now? Best sneakers of 2022, bar none. Okay, Marie Claire, what do you think best sneakers of 2022? These are fun and sci-fi. Ooh, they come in pink. Focus. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I think with baggy jeans, um, it's still better to go fitted on top. Your mileage may vary. I mean, depending on your body type, you could go oversized on top too and go for a whole look. So, but I wouldn't go kind of in the middle. I would go like, intentionally oversized and like maybe cuff the cuff the um cuff the sleeves and tuck it in so it's like intentionally oversized or i'd go very tight so maybe buy the shirt in a size or two smaller or maybe even you can get away with getting one in the kids section or like knotted at your waist to have slim on top and then baggy on the bottom or like intentionally oversized all over it's got to look intentional and that's that's what we're going for here so that's outfit number one. That was easy. Like t-shirt, jeans, cool sneakers. You're good. You're good. Get your con lanyard on. Um, good to go. All right. So for this next one, I think I want to play with the leather pants trend. So I kind of don't, I think I want something more fitted 
than a t-shirt. So I'm debating if I want to do like the women's one. Um, I think I want to do something slimmer though. So I'm thinking I'm going to go with this one. Where's this from? Amazon. Okay. I, you just never know what you're going to get on Amazon though. Look at this. Look at how weirdly baggy this is in the arms. This looks like a sweat shirt. What? What's going on? This actually may work for the fashion. I kind of love this because it almost looks like it almost looks like it's athletic wear. Let's see if we can find like a pair of leather joggers to wear with that. Well, oh, faux leather. Faux leather joggers. I don't know exactly where the best place would be to get these. Apparently, ooh, no way. We could actually go like at leisure about this. So, I don't know, that doesn't look terribly flattering, does it? So you could go, no clock. So you could go like the jogger look and kind of lean into the, I gotta stop doing this, lean into the, um, into the athletic-ness of this look, um, Kalia, that is Kalia, Kalia. I believe that's Carrie Underwood's um, activewear brand. Clearly I don't know how to pronounce it, but um, yeah, I kind of like the idea of doing like, because you know, baggy athleisure is kind of in. You could either do like a jogger thing or you could do the leather like leather leg leggings. I I don't know that I'd want to do Spanx, maybe. I mean, I, I do love my Spanx, but. Oh, well, they make leather leggings. Calia has a leather leggings um, option as well. Yeah, I kind of like that too. So, some sort of a leather pant with this would be kind of fun um, to just kind of be like the black pants of the uniform, but you know. Leather straight leg pants. I'm trying to find them in different widths to give us options here. Oh, I kind of like the ooh, gap. Hey, no way. Those would be kind of hot, right? So, um, yeah, you could really go with whatever, um, whatever silhouette you're comfortable here for the leather pants. But I think whichever way you go here with the kind of uh, sportier shirt with either the straight leg to go more traditional or um, the leggings, I don't know if I love the super tight look of the leggings with that top, but those would be really cute, really, really cute under like the women's dresses, like the really short blue uniform. So that, that I like. And then I want to find some like kick ass, um, like black booties. So I don't know, I guess we'll just go to Nordstrom. Maybe like some, something with sparkles black booties sparkles <laughs> Whoa, that. I was oh wow I love that yeah okay yes these glitter ones oh they're for kids that's that kills me they're for kids gosh those would have been perfect but these are cute too actually and those would look good with these would look perfect. These would look perfect with the joggers, with the leggings, or with the straight leg pants. Like, you wouldn't, you could not go wrong with these boots. And if you're walking around a con, it's got the chunky heel too. So you're not gonna be uncomfortable, which is great. 
Um, cool. So that's the second outfit. Cosplay, but, you know, make it fashion, which is, I guess, generally my favorite way to go. I like putting a slight spin on things because... I know I'm never going to get it exact anyway, probably, um, so I might as well put my own spin on it because it can get, uh, it can get really expensive to get high quality, like, um, costumes, uh, cosplay costumes that are faithful to the original material, unless you know how to sew. And, and even in that case, the materials to do it can get expensive. So it's kind of nice to maybe take what you already have and, Make a look out of that that's going to be different, memorable, and uniquely you. So I think we have two really kind of great looks right now, but let's go all out for the third. And then I want to try to find one thing that's Starfield exclusive. All right, I'm going to try eBay and I want to try Etsy. Star Trek Spock costume. And I want it as accurate as possible. I want to see how much this costs to get as accurate as possible. That one's 15, eight bucks. Yeah, you, you're gonna go with the wig. We're gonna go with the wig, so we're getting that. Should we do Strange New World Spock? I do love Strange New World Spock, so. Yeah, he's my favorite. <laughs> he's my favorite version of Spock. So let me pop up a picture of Strange New World. Strange New World Spock for one, for those of you who don't know. Can I get a picture of the whole thing? Um, all right, so, you know, that one from eBay is probably good. And then it looks like these pants have like, a very um, small tuxedo stripe, like right in the seam. So let's try to make sure we get that too, because here we are going to be all about accuracy. So we need the wig. We need the right blue shirt, just like in Nicarella. Needs to be the right blue. Um, and then I don't, I can't find any pictures of their shoes. We'll just get, what's he wearing? I think they're wearing knee-high boots. Knee-high boots. Okay, so we'll get like a knee-high boot, which should be easy enough. Star Trek Strange New Worlds uniform. Someone's always selling something great on Etsy for sure. I would say that props are very important too and very, you want, the details to be on point too. So, I mean, you probably wanna get something like the communicator device, the phaser, a tricorder, something like that. And maybe the pips to show you the rank. Um, holster to put it in. You'd, yeah, you'd wanna get everything. Oh yeah, 709. <laughs> Love 709 too. What's this? Yeah, give me everything. Give me everything. This is everything. See, the nice thing about Etsy is they generally have everything. They have the stripe on the side, they have the boots, um, they even have the like the mesh detail, the arm. Um, so I kind of, yeah. If you're going to do it, just go all out. Ooh, it looks like this seller does a lot of um, cosplay stuff, which is really cool um, for many different fandoms. So I kind of love that. Let's go with this. Select an option. Okay. All right. I was like, there's no way this whole thing is $75. There's no way. It's not. It's $235, which that's the thing. If you're going to go all out, you're gonna pay in the multiple hundreds of dollars. But today for this, we're going to go all out. So look at this. Um, for some reason, I thought this was a men's one. It is, they say it's men's, but the sizing is women's, which is actually fine because that's kind of what we're going for here. We are a woman 
who's a really big fan of a male character, and that's who we're dressing as for this con. So we <laughs> we wanted to find a, a, a Spock outfit, and I think we really accomplished that. So I would just buy this full out, show up, I, and the wig for sure, and some of the accessories. And yeah, that would be it. And now I wanted to find the closest thing I could find to a Princess Amara dress. Um, and I'm kind of envisioning something purple and organza-y and like almost, almost like a galaxy print, just like stars and sparkles. So I wanna see what we can find for Princess Amara as our last item here. Ooh, I knew Etsy would come through for this. Starry night dress. Not exactly what I was envisioning. Maybe I just wanna type in purple organza gown and see what comes up. That's kind of pretty. I do like that. Ooh, Ooh okay, okay. Now, now we're getting somewhere, now we're getting somewhere. What, what just opened? This is gorgeous. This is kind of definitely princessy. It's kind of more fantasy than sci-fi. I think I'd want to add some sci-fi elements to it, um, but it's gorgeous. This is cool though. Yeah, I'm sold, I'm sold. This is absolutely stunningly gorgeous. And I'm calling this our Princess Amara dress. Could you ever afford it? Um, it's $1,300. Maybe if you wanted to wear this for a really awesome, maybe if it was your wedding dress and you wanted like a sci-fi or fantasy wedding theme, then for sure do this. But I think we found the perfect Princess Amara dress. So yeah, I'm really happy with what we found. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Bedecked. I hope you enjoyed what I came up with for Elle to wear to the Starfield um, convention. Uh... I can't remember what it was actually called. Um, if you have any books you want me to do, drop them in the comments. If you haven't yet, like and subscribe this video and go ahead and turn on post notifications too so you get notified when my next video goes up. So thank you so much for watching this episode of The Deck. Stay tuned next week for whatever topic of book I decide to get next. Live long and prosper. Bye!